Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? Alex Jenkins checking in one more time. Uh, we're doing an update on Great British Crown USD. Um, here we go. Uh, so we started here in the previous uh, in the previous update video with a previous analysis. It came down here. It dropped. Let's see here. It was looking at somewhere near 82 and 84. Okay. Um, here we was at 38, 80, 30, 38, 44, maybe 38, 82, 37, 37, what was that? 37, 82, somewhere up in there. 37, 82. It dropped all the way to as low as 37.5. So the 27 pip drop, it bounced it up and went into the uh, support area, support or, or su supply and demand zone here. And once it did that, they, that's, you know, that's another entry level here. And it dropped the total. Which we'll say this, we could have made an entry at 30 and 11. And it dropped the total of 37.12. Almost 100 pips, 99 pips there. So if you wouldn't be greedy, you could have you could have made us made two 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 positions on this thing and got out of there before the hundred pip drop. It didn't quite make it to the previous low yet. We made another run back up into the area of support uh, support and resistance or supply and demand. And we're testing this level. It's going to test this level for a little bit. We'll see. Uh, it broke the trend. We have a trend line break, so maybe it might be going back into this is bias. Which was uh which is uh, a bullish bias, but this thing can can, can hit here, and maybe break break it and, and still fall back down, maybe bounce and then we we go into and then go back into a uptrend. We're gonna see how this thing really play out. Um, it's gonna you know you got one on these type of things you definitely got to continue to watch uh currency pairs because they're so high, they're, they're so volatile, so you got to be you know. You know, give or take. You know, see, this took this took a day or two, a day. So, at some point through the day, you have to come back to your computer and watch your computer and see what's going on and see, you know, if anything's about to turn around on you and things like of that nature. But right now, we're getting some resistance here, as of right now. So we'll see. But the next session is coming. The Europe set, European session is coming up here in a few hours, and the U.S. session is going to follow that. And we'll definitely know what this thing is going to do on Friday before the closing of the market. But I'm expecting maybe some resistance, but we do have a uh, earning reports come out tomorrow. So we have a lot of news that can really drive, be a driver of the market. So we're just going to be careful with, the, you know, with things the way things are uh, going right now. But that's the analysis update, guys. I just think it's checking out.